Hello Cozy Gamers and welcome back to the Cozy Gaming Club, where today we're going to be playing Rune Factory 3 Special. This is my first ever Rune Factory game and I really don't know what to expect from it. I'm excited to try it out though as it's described as the perfect blend between RPGs and life sims. I played the first two days in game and I'm going to be taking you through what I did as well as my thoughts and feelings on the game so far. The game starts on a dark and stormy night when what appears to be a yellow sheep falls from the sky and lands outside a flower shop. What is go- is that a sheep? A monster? What are you doing here? And you're terribly hurt, poor thing. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I love the outfit. That's so cool. It's funny that they're like 3D models in this 2D world. What's all the ruckus, dear? Of course, she works in a flower shop with all those flowers on her dress. I could have sworn I heard... Wait, that's a monster. Well, yes, I would think that's obvious. How could you let it in the house? Because it's injured, I can't very well turn a blind eye to a suffering creature. That's still no excuse for allowing a monster to violate the sanct sanctity of my house. home. Then I should have left it to die, is that it? I've decided to take care of it, and that's final. Now leave me be, Grandpa. Nice. I like that. Save the cute little sheep that definitely... But I don't know what monsters look like in this game. There, that should do it. I like that she put me to bed. I am a sheep and she put me in the bed. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. I'm a little boy now. What? Where am I? I cut and run without thinking. Real smooth. Hmm, who's that? Silent. Excuse me. Huh? Hey. Good morning. Good morning, Raven. Morning. Not often I see you in this neck of the woods. Oh dear. And you have company. I don't think we've had the pleasure. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm, uh... Is something wrong? I can't remember. Sorry? I don't know why, but I can't remember anything about my... Huh? Goodness, don't tell me you have amnesia. <laughs> I guess so. This is serious. What do we do? I know. Raven, can I ask you a favor? You can ask. Sure. Could you take... Um, what should I call you? Good question. How about... After sharing my name and my birthday with them, I was taken to my new home. The Sharon's Tree. Where Shara gave me a very in-depth tour. Then it was time to go farming. Oh, is this my farm? Whoa, get a load of these fields. They're huge. Yep, they're the only fields in the whole town. The crops will only grow here, underneath the branches of the Sharon's tree. Interesting. They're um, a little unkempt. You'll have to clear them before you can use them. Consider that your move-in fee. <laughs> That's a lot of land. Easier said than done. Yeah, but it's your job now, Ellie. Here, take these. We'll call it a housewarming gift. You received a cheap hoe and a cheap water pot. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wonderful. There, now you're all set. Since we're here, do you want to try tilling the fields? I guess I could. Oh my gosh, what's this? 
It looks a bit like an Abra. A monster? Bovi, you get back. It's clearly hostile. There's no avoiding a tussle, I'm afraid. Do either of you have a weapon I can use? You already have one. You can use your hoe as a weapon. Press B to swing it. Okay. With that, you can send Mr. Orc back to the Forest of Beginnings. All right. There we go. And I tilled some land while I was at it. <laughs> you aren't hurt at all, are you? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I know the monster swung first, but I still feel bad for what we did to the poor thing. Yeah, we had to defend ourselves, but it didn't feel good. By the way, what what's that Forest of Beginnings place you mentioned? I've only read about it in books, so I'm not exactly an expert on the subject. But it's supposedly a different world where only monsters live. And defeating monsters sends them back there. The farm tools and weapons we use all have a spell called Tamitaya cast on them. This spell makes sure they don't actually harm the target and instead just sends it back to the forest of beginnings. Okay, I got you. Oh my god, two? What, more monsters? Two of them this time. Shara, get back. Got it. Who's this? Here, take one of these. Oh, what do I want? Oh my gosh, there's so many. A short sword, a long sword, a spear, a hammer, an axe, a staff, jewel blades. I'm quite partial to a jewel blades. Let's do jewel blades. Maybe I'll take the jewel blades with twice the offense. Who needs defense? We'll do it. Here. Yeah. They have a good throw, and I have a good catch. Press B repeatedly to whirl on your opponents. Gotcha. Level up. Phew, that fight really took it out of me. What's your name? I'm Ellie. Thank you. Thanks for the weapon. Who are you? Gaius. You've got good form. Thanks. Thank Raven, not me. She was the one who told me monsters showed up. Thanks. Really? Thanks, Raven. Did I offend her somehow? Nah, she's just like that. Don't let it bother you. I like Gaius' smile. Anyway, I'd better get back to work. I run a weapon shop just down the way from here. Drop by and see me sometime. And with that, I'm off. Later. Thank you. Thank you again for your help. Are you okay? No problem. Yeah, I'm fine. Glad to hear it. Still, for so many monsters to show up here, let alone start attacking people. Is it unusual? Very. The monsters around here are generally passive and gentle. I have heard rumors of violent monsters running rampant recently though. Maybe these monsters were affected somehow. By the way, you're pretty good at fighting, Ellie. You think so? I do, you surprised me, and probably those monsters too, honestly. They looked formidable. Oh. They were pretty tough. Wow, Ellie, you must be on another level then. Amazing. Thanks. <laughs> well, now we know you know how to use a weapon, but what about farm tools? Shall I bestow upon you some of my extensive farming know-how? Yeah, let's do the tutorial. First, let's start by having you tidy your fields. After all that excitement, it was finally time to farm. And what followed was possibly the longest farming tutorial I've ever done for something that wasn't even that complicated. First, I needed to clear all the weeds that Shara had conjured up. Then she taught me how to hoe the ground to prepare it for planting. 
I will say that the controls for changing tools are very strange and you can probably see I got it wrong quite a few times before finally managing to equip my hoe. You look rather dashing like that, I must say. Now it's time to till my field and then to sow my seeds. As you can see here, I was also having issues with the control sensitivity. It was so easy to overshoot and land on a different square than the one you wanted, which just made the whole process take a lot longer. The final step was to water my newly planted seeds, although it was quite hard to see which ones had been watered already and which ones hadn't. There were a few other small tutorials as well, such as how to pick plants and where to store our lumber. Yes! Perfect! And that, my dear Ellie, concludes my lessons in all things farming. All in all, I'd say you did a bang up job. But we were soon finished. I then set off to meet Shara at the florist. This looks like a florist. Who's this? Ah, you must be the whippersnapper that Shara took in. Yes, sir, my name is Ellie. Hmm, I'm Wells. I'm the mayor of this town. If you need anything, come ask me. Thank you. Thank you, I will. Okay, into the shop. Oh, there you are, Ellie. I've been waiting for you. You live here in the flower shop, right? I sure do. We sell flower seeds, of course, but we also stock some unusual seeds. Unusual? Yeah. That's right, to be more specific. <laughs> Rah! Huh? Monica, how many times have I told you no horsing around in the shop? Shara, do something. Wait, it's, it did the voice? It did the line. So confused. Sorry. My little sister doesn't really do well with strangers. <laughs> she seems like a handful. Keep your distance from talking to her. Unless you want to get chomped. <laughs> chomped? Now where were we? Oh, right. This is one of the unusual seeds I was talking about. Not doing the voiceover anymore. I am very confused by this. Why only partially do the voiceover? They're formerly known as magic seeds. Just place one on the ground and it'll grow in an instant. A fully grown magic seed will follow you around while you're adventuring. Different ones have different effects. As you develop your farming skills, your faithful magic seed will become your faithful magic seed companions will become more powerful. So it's like a pet plant. That's kind of cute. <laughs> you think so? Then why don't you have this? Consider it a gift. You got a sword magic seed. Huh? Are you sure? Of course. There are lots of different kinds of magic seeds out there, but half the fun is discovering them for yourself. Chip lots. Of Doing it again. I will. Oh, that reminds me. Did I already tell you how the message board works? The message board? You didn't. Right, of course I didn't. That's the reason I called you here, after all. So where is this message board anyway? Just outside, actually. Here, I'll show you. Shara then showed me the town message board, which is where my first big bug arose. I think, anyway. As I was unable to accept the quest she wanted me to. This may have been user error on my part, but it essentially locked me out of continuing the main story, so I returned to my farm to plant some more seeds before heading to bed. The next morning I woke up bright and early and immediately headed downstairs to water my crops, in true farming game fashion. 
After struggling with the controls for a few moments, I was able to equip my watering can and take care of my crops. I was a little confused why some crops were yellow while others weren't, and the constant skill up, maybe a bug, maybe not a bug, continued. There it is again. Then I headed back to the message board where I was able to accept my next quest, and thankfully Shara was standing right there for me to redeem it. Let's talk to Shara. What a lovely day we're having. I'm sure the flowers are happy to soak up all this wonderful sunshine. Good morning. Good morning. What is it you need me to do? Mm. Well, for starters, let's see. Uh, I know. How about you introduce yourself to the locals? Now that's a sensible idea. Mm, you did just move in after all. It's only proper that you let everyone know who you are. Oh, and don't forget to visit Daria too. She's an artist who lives down past the general store, towards Privira Forest. Daria Artist Forest. Got it. Once you've said hello to everyone, come back and let me know. Will do. Now I'm on a quest to meet every character in a game, which sounded fun initially, but there were so many characters. You are? Karina. Slacking off again, I see. Honestly. Was it too much to ask you to keep an eye on the shop while I was out? I was keeping an eye on it. Why? Have you seen this hook of our review? The, the voice acting in this game does weird things where sometimes... The characters do the voice acting and sometimes they don't. What? That doesn't mean you can blow off potential customers, honestly. Some would say my frankness is my best feature. Like that? Why this line, not the line before it? <sighs> Sorry about her, that's just the way she is. <laughs> By the way, you just moved into the big tree, didn't you? Sure did. You saved me a trip then. I was planning on heading over to explain how shipping works. Well, don't just stand there. Come on in. You're up, Karina. Give him the rundown. Huh? Me? Pain. Okay, I guess. But, uh, I don't know if I can explain it well enough. Wouldn't it be better if you did it, Mum? Ah, trying to foist your work onto me so you can goof off some more. I'm just looking out for our customer's best interest. Yeah, that's it. Is that so? Well, if you're that concerned, you can be his account. Oh, her mum just got her so bad. Make sure he gets whatever he needs whenever he needs it. With a smile, okay? Seriously? Don't think for an instant you can pull a fast one on me. I've got some urgent business to take care of, so ask my daughter here for the details. Do a thing. Karina? And Karina, wipe that annoyed look off your face and make sure you explain things to him. Got that? Yeah. Fine. Alright then, I'm off. <sighs> well, I can't just ditch work and leave the store empty, so I guess I should start explaining. That'd be great, thank you. Let's see. Just toss any items you harvest into the shipping bin and I'll come pick them up. A few are the better since that makes my job easier. Most of the time I'll usually come by to collect at like 5pm or whenever I feel like it. Keep it up and you should be rolling in gold in no time. In theory, anyway. I'll come by to pick up whatever's in the box every day. I think that covers it. So there you go, makes sense? <laughs> I think I got it. Good, then starting today... Scratch that. I've still got work here today, so my first pickup will be tomorrow. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay then. All right. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Oh... <gasps> 
She's got a cat on her head. My, and you are? Ellie's the name. I uh, went through some stuff and then other stuff happened and long story short, I got permission to live in the great tree. Oh dear, it sounds like it's been quite the whirlwind for you. That must have been taxing. I'm sorry. It wasn't all that bad, fortunately. I ought to introduce myself, Ort and I. I'm Evelyn. It's a pleasure. You may have come across this already, but my family members tend to say the opposite of what they truly mean. So does that mean it, it's not a pleasure? I imagine that's a lot to deal with. It is, actually. It is. A truly kind people, though. I hope you'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I intend to. So the friendlier you become, the more they may insult you. Great. Okay. Who's this? Carmen. Hey, do you like fishing? Fishing? Yeah, fishing. If I had to say... I guess I like it well enough. Really? Then you've got taste, mister. There's just nothing else like it, is there? The dance of the bobber on the waves, the arc of the pole as you and the fish do battle. Then the sparkle of the water splash as the fish breaches the surface. Sorry. I can get kinda carried away about fishing. I take it you're a fan. You could say that. Boy, is my face red. Anyway, I'm Carmen. You? Ellie? Pleased to meet you. I live at the fishing resort by the lake. If you're ever looking for a fishing partner, let me know. Who else is there? Who's this? Gino, my my, would you happy to be would you happen to be Ellie? Huh? Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> my name is Gino. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. How do you know my name already? Yes. I happen to hear we had a new arrival here. Word travels fast in a small community like ours. I guess that makes sense. Uh, the hum as the humble proprietress of the town inn, I kindly request you pay us a visit if you ever find yourself in need of some rest and relaxation. I'll be sure to take you up on that. <laughs> we'll be ready to welcome you with open arms. You, yes you there. Think you have what it takes to challenge me? I like the lollipop belt. Me? Uh, challenge you in what exactly? An eating contest, of course. Huh? An eating contest? Aww. I can read you like an open book. I know you think I'm too puny for something like that. Yeah, well, try living in a body that refuses to grow no matter how much I eat. Um, sorry? <laughs> Yeesh, didn't your mother ever teach you to respect your elders? I'm the older one here, you know, just FYI. Do these people even know how old I am? Huh? Wait, you're older than me? <laughs> Judging a book by its cover again, are we? If you ask me, I think it's pretty obvious that you're the younger of the two of us. In what world is that obvious? Come to think of it, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you a traveller? Oh no, I actually just moved into the Sharon's tree. My name's Ellie. Huh, I got you. Well, I'm Colette. You can usually find me working the restaurant here, so drop on by if you ever need a bite to eat. It would be my honour, madam. <laughs> madam. Oh, and just because I'm the older one doesn't mean you have to act all polite and formal around me. Just give me a holler if you need anything. Alright then, I'll do just that. I still can't believe she's older than me. We have no proof of this. <laughs> Other than a vibe. Have we met this person? Oh gosh, there's so many people. It's nice to meet you. Yes, it's been far too... Why is that in red? Huh? Wait, what? What's your name? Oh, I'm Ellie. I'll be living in the Sharon's tree from now on, so I'd love for us to get to know each other. No. That sounds awful. Huh? I'm Sophia. It's a pleasure. Uh, the pleasure's all mine? I'm so very you wouldn't think it, but I'm actually rather busy. Please feel free to come by for a visit and chat anytime. Please feel free to come by for a visit and chat anytime. Wait, but you said you're... <laughs> I won't be waiting to see you. Do stay far... Is this the family that does all the opposites? I have never been more confused in my life. Okay, and this person? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, oh, no, no, the displeasure is all mine, my lifelong acquaintance. Huh? Have we met somewhere before? Yes. My name is Sherman, and you? I'm Ellie. Oh. 
a splendiferous name. As of today, we are enemies. Huh? We are? I don't mean it. Indeed, I very much dread getting to know you better. <laughs> Same to you. It's really weird. Okay. We haven't met this person. Expert Wood. Being paralyzed in the middle of a fight means your legs will stop listening to you. No legs, no dodging out of the way of attacks. Not a fun time. That's why you should always keep some paragon on you. Just in case. Okay. Who else we gotta meet? Is a it looks like there's people up here I haven't met. This person? Hi. What can I do you for? Oh, you're the new guy who moved into the tree? That would be me. <laughs> Thought so. The name's Sakuya. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ellie. Nice to meet you too. Still, I can't believe the nerve of that Shara. What What do you mean? She should have brought you to my shop instead of that hollowed out tree. That's the first impression I'll never get to make again. So much for starting you off as a customer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Looks like I'll need you to call in a favour from her on my behalf. What kind of favour? Tell her to come to my shop and we'll call it even. Huh? Sure, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll be waiting. See you around. Okay. Um. Welcome. Is this the girl that yells at me? Yeah. This isn't We've met all these people. Wait, have we met that person? Oh yeah, that's expert wood. Have we met this person? Yes, we have. Okay. Is that everyone? We haven't met the person who lives by the river, is this it? There we go! <laughs> da -de -da. Rainbow! Rainbow. <laughs> Another masterpiece. This one talks. And then here we are, below a little dead. Nice to meet you. Is there something on my face? It's more that your face is actually very charming. Why don't you sit down and model for me? Model, so you like to draw, I'm guessing. Like to draw, he says. Please, would you not liken me to a mere painter? I'm nothing of the sort. Painting is just the start of my repertoire. I sculpt, I carve, I embroider, and more. I, Daria, create all forms of art, thereby making the world a more colourful place. Rainbow. With the power of rainbows. <laughs> you must be a really well-rounded artist. That's impressive. Never mind modelling. Perhaps I'll promote you all the way up to sidekick. Sidekick? By the way, what's your name? Ellie? Nice to meet you, Ellie. I'm Daria. My atelier is near the entrance to the forest. If you ever like to gaze upon my wondrous work, Sidekick, feel free to come by any time. Sounds good. There were so many other people to meet, from Raven, who definitely didn't like me, what? to Carlos, who seems cool enough Although I did witness a very strange scene with his sister. The time has come for me to take my leave. My darling sister, must you depart so soon? I cannot bear to see you go. Huh? It pains me too, brother. But I can delay no longer. The hour is at hand. The fish shall wait. Promise me this, beloved sister. Promise me that you'll come back alive. Moving on, I also met Sherman and Evelyn again for a strange scene that highlighted their opposite words. Disgusting. Look at the dresses and things. It's the art is so strange in this game. Oh, 
Our three-star chef's cooking is as terrible as ever. Here you are. Please has outdone himself again. I know it's delicious, but please be more mindful of your portions, Father. And shall we go to the dining room? It is impolite to feast in just any room of the manor. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. More. But first, another helping. All right, all right. Just give me a moment. Are you heading out somewhere? That's right. I find myself in good spirits today, so I'm going for a stroll. Oh. Very well. Oh. I only ask that you don't be mindful of your surroundings and stay out of trouble. No. I don't mean it. I'll be off then. Oh, goodness. Another conversation in that silly opposite speak. Honestly, where did those two get it from? By this point, I was a little tired of the strange cutscenes and somewhat forced dialogue. But there were still more people to meet. Marjorie the Retired Witch was next. Ah yes, I've already heard. You are the lad who's moved into the Sharon's tree, right? That would be me. I'm Marjorie. Many, many years ago, I made a name for myself as a witch, but these days I'm little more than an old crone. Followed by her apprentice, Marion. At long last, a new patient. So what seems to be the problem? Headache? Backache? Somewhere unmentionable ache? Huh? So your mystery affliction has left you incapable of coherent speech as well. And then Pia. And Gaius, our handsome weaponsmith. Yeah. Oh hey, I remember you. You here to buy something? Um. Hey, don't sweat it if you want. As long as I've got some iron to hammer at, I don't have a care in the world. The last person I met was Colette's dad, the chef. This is absolutely disgusting. It's the worst thing I've ever tasted. Chef, I'll have another. Jeff, you've outdone yourself again. I can tell this is going to be simply atrocious. Thank you for the kind words, Sherman. Bon appetit. Colette, you'll enjoy the food even more if you take your time and savor it. I know, I know. Hurry up and bring that plate over here, please. It then started to get dark, and I still hadn't met all of the villagers, so I made my way to bed. Admittedly, I haven't played much of this game so far, around two hours in total. But I'm really not seeing the Rune Factory hype. Have you played a Rune Factory game? Should I persevere and keep playing? I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I hope you enjoyed this first look at Rune Factory 3 Special. Bye!